What is up everybody, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to use the clipboard in Windows 10. If you haven't used a clipboard before, it's essentially copy and paste, but on steroids, because it allows you to copy multiple items on your PC and then pull them up later using the clipboard. And it's not just about copying text, but you can also copy images as well. I find the clipboard is really handy for any sort of document creation. It could be an essay for university, a really long email, or basically anything where you need to grab a few sources and put them into one document. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. And with that being said, Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the clipboard turned on. So I'm gonna press the start option, start typing in the clipboard, and the best match is my clipboard settings. In the clipboard settings here, under the option of clipboard history, make sure you have that toggle button turned on, and this means that you can now access your clipboard history. If you have multiple Windows 10 devices, you can turn on syncing so that if you copy one item, it will appear across multiple. I don't use this, but if you think it's handy, definitely make sure you turn that option on as well. Cool, and it is that simple to turn on the clipboard. Now, how do you use it? We all know that Control C is copy and Control V is paste. To access your clipboard, you wanna press the Windows key in V. So you can press Control, you can still use Control C to copy something, but to access the entire clipboard, you wanna press Windows key in V. Now let's see this in action. Say for example, I was gonna write an essay on the places to visit in Sydney. And instead of having to jump between different web pages and the Word document, I wanna get all my information in one and stay in that flow of being in the single document. So here you can see I've got a list of the 12 best places to visit in Sydney. So I'm gonna grab that, right click and copy. And then I've got a photo here of the Harbour Bridge. Right click, copy again. I've got another image here of icebergs at Bondi Beach. So I'm gonna right click, copy that image. And then I've got a, a TripAdvisor URL. So I'm gonna grab that and, and again, right click, copy, or of course, use Control C. Now I'm gonna jump over to my Word document. And if I press Control V, it's gonna paste in the last thing that I copied but we want to access everything. Instead of pressing Control V, I'm going to press Windows key in V instead. And you see here it's pulled up the clipboard. From the clipboard, I can simply select an item and paste it in, such as that URL we just had, um, or it could be that photo of the Harbour Bridge. And the awesome thing is I'm not copying just only text, but you can see I copied an image and now that saves to the clipboard as well. If you have multiple things that you've copied, but a few of them are more important than others, you can actually select on the ellipses and you can tell it to pin. If you pin something to the clipboard, it means it's always gonna stay in your clipboard, even if you restart your PC or if you clear the clipboard history. So I'm gonna grab this photo of the Harbour Bridge and I'm gonna pin it. So now that this photo is pinned, I don't need the three other items in the clipboard, so I'm gonna simply get rid of them now. I'm gonna select on the ellipses and remember, in any Microsoft program, the ellipses always means more. Scroll down to where it says clear all, and you see it, it's taken out everything from that clipboard except for the one photo that we've pinned. And there you have it, it is that simple to use the clipboard in Windows 10. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.